hey, I'm going to do a really short video because last video cut as I was recording it. Apparently, 30 minutes is the longest it can record. So, um, yep, I'm just, I'm getting super excited now because I finally understood what happened with the tantrum that I had last night and how to address it and how to fix it. I just want to share my insight with you. So um, this is now day 19 of the 28 Day Super Juice Me program as part of the World's Biggest Juice Tea Talks. I'm actually on day 20 and I'm recording the video from yesterday because yesterday by the time I got home, I was just like, I need to sleep. Like, I need to sleep by the time I just shut down. I was like, okay, let's just shut down, switch off, get to bed and sleep a little bit. So the challenge I was having was um, I was desperately craving something. I was desperately wanting to eat some food. I wanted something warm. I wanted some meat. I wanted some doner kebab. I was parked outside the doner kebab shop. I sat out there for over 40 minutes, right? It's probably like an hour almost. An hour that I could have been sleeping, right? And sleeping would have been really beneficial for me. But rather than that, I was just stuck outside in a car, um, struggling with myself, with wanting to eat something, but that I really didn't want to eat. But like, my really didn't want to eat was like so, so minimal. Like, it was just like, well, it's just kind of there in the background. It's sort of like, eh, I really don't want you to eat this, but if you really want to eat it, just eat the damn thing and just shut the F up, right? It's kind of like uh, one of the things Jason Bell says, right? Um, if you're going through one of those, like, tantrums, eat it and shut up, or don't eat it and shut up, but whatever you do, just shut up, right? And I just couldn't get it to shut up. It was really bizarre. Like, the voice in my head, like, it wouldn't shut up, like, the craving inside of me. I was just like, oh, I really want this, but I don't want to eat it. <clears throat> so on reflection and in hindsight, like that's part of a behavior, right? That's conditioned behavior, conditioned response. That is what I would do by default when I'm on my own. It's late at night. I'm bored. I don't want to sleep because I'm kind of feeling crappy, but I want to do something. And eating was a really simple solution out because... It meant I felt more crappy, right? It meant I did something and I ended up like numbing the sensation. That's what it was. I basically would numb the crappy feeling that I was feeling on my own at night without anybody to talk to, without anybody to um, turn to and just still being alert, being awake, right? Not being tired and not having something to fixate my attention on. So what it is, is your, um, it's like a little child, right? Little child, they say, I want some chocolate. And you go, no, chocolate. But I want some chocolate. And you go, no. But I really want some chocolate. No. And then they start like kicking up a tantrum and a fuss, right? So there's two ways that you can address the tantrum, right? One is you eat, you give the child the chocolate and then the child has the chocolate and they shut up. And then they're going to have another tantrum because they're going to have a sugar low and then it's just going to be cyclical. Or you distract the child with something that is more interesting than the chocolate, right? And you divert their attention. And it works so well with children, right? You do it with children. Like, I do it with children all the time, right? If they really want something and they can't have it, for whatever reason, um, I find something else to focus on. And before you know it, the child's like, totally fine, right? Like, they're just playing along. Like, they just get involved with whatever it is that you do, right? And obviously, you need to engage them enough. Like, once they're engaged and bought in, then their attention just completely goes into the next thing and they completely forget about the thing they wanted before. Um, and we're like that sometimes, right? And that inner voice, that sort of inner kind of craving tantrum, kicking off a fuss noise that goes off in your head is exactly the same. Feed it by giving it either what it wants or something more inspiring. So, <clears throat> I have now vowed that whenever that happens, my go-to response is start getting grateful. Find some things to be grateful about, right? And the thing is, the moment you fixate on gratitude, you get into a state of gratefulness, that stuff will melt away. It will, it will. Right? And if you can't if you can't get rid of it, get grateful for it. Find ways of being grateful for it rather than actually doing the action. Right? Because that's the solution. That's the solution. I've decided that is your get out clause 
that gets you out of the problem that gets you out of that loop because what it is is that that thing inside of you it wants attention right it wants some attention it wants i'm important i'm a priority put me first take care of me right and in the past that was done by giving it things that we thought would nourish it as you know for the body by food right we would lift stuff up into our mouths and feed ourselves with stuff whether it was ice cream or pizza or mcdonald's or fast food or um i don't know rubbish junk food right crisps potato chips whatever it is we'd feed ourselves with that stuff and be like yay i love myself i'm giving myself this wonderful feeling inside but we would feel rubbish after we've consumed whatever that thing was and that temporary state passed right because actually what we really wanted was that feeling inside it was that state inside of ourselves of how that made us feel that was what we were really after that's what we really desired so to give that to yourself nourish yourself with gratitude give yourself things to be grateful for if you're feeling hungry if you're craving something if you want to eat something that you don't want to be eating that you've chosen not to eat when you were in a ideal frame of mind and now you're struggling watch this video on repeat until you get it right what are you grateful for yeah what about your experience are you grateful for what are the learnings you've had in life that you're grateful for what are the things that happened today that you're grateful for who are the people in your life that you're grateful to have what are you grateful to yourself for what what in what ways can you be grateful for the decision that you made to start this journey right what is this challenge offering you the opportunity to grow through right how can you be grateful for the challenges that you're facing right what is it in your experience that is gonna propel you right what can you be grateful for in this moment right what muscle is being worked be grateful for that yesterday i exerted a level of control for myself that i never knew i had i thought i was just fickle i thought i would just fall into the trap yes i ended up eating something i had a juice in a bar like i gave myself a get out clause by prepping ahead of time i had some extra juice i drank that i was still wanting something i had a juice in a bar eventually i was just like shut that f up i'm going home i'm not going to eat it right it took me over 45 minutes to get to that point i struggled i watched so many of the videos that i've got on the 20 um you know super juice me app i would have gone online i would have found videos i would have found anything like i need to make a playlist for people that are struggling with this get inspired find your inspiration playlist get grateful find something i ended up and that's the thing that's the thing i ended up being grateful for someone else's advice someone else's wisdom on how to address the thing i was struggling with yeah jason's take on it it's a mental tantrum you're going through it it's not physical you don't feel hunger you're nourishing your body